3.2 clients and servers in this part i want to give you some basic information about the clients and the servers yeah so we will look at this uh you know important relationship from software side both hardware side and software side yeah. all right first let us look at from the hardware side client machines yeah so many you know different types of computers or machine you know yeah because some of the client may not be really uh computers you know we know right now many devices many different devices they can access they can use internet wi-fi right you know many devices we use at home so they can access internet yeah anyway so here for the client machine here i just give you some typical examples here all right a client is a computer that connects to and uses the resources of a remote computer server yeah so typically you can see the client machine is used to access some service the service typically the data service right so the data service from a server so that's the description uh, or you can call definition or description of the client uh, then for the hardware uh, so here we mainly we just look at the computers computer type clients uh, desktops yeah, so very common uh, like these laptops yeah so you have you know different types of laptops yeah so right now uh, so this is the one I'm using to you know uh, create a videos so here you can see so I have this pen you know because I like to use this pen you know to write things on my notes yeah. so you can see different types of laptops yeah. tablets yeah also pretty popular yeah. and smartphones and the smartphones currently extremely important to access internet web yeah so you can see if you look at the statistics how many how many people what percentage of users use cell phones to access web so you can see uh, surprisingly high percentage yeah. all right software side web browsers at the client side the main software we use to do the communication so here yeah we just use it for the communication yeah. market share here let me give you the updated market share of this year yeah the current time the market share changes every year yeah so i need to update from the last year yeah chrome still has the largest market share right now 65 percent yeah. going down three points from the previous year yeah three points lower than the previous year yeah. firefox going down big time yeah so right now only three point something yeah three point something yeah last year still double digit but this year so low three point something yeah edge microsoft edge also three point something growing a little bit but not very fast yeah very slow so keep growing but still very slow yeah samsung internet pretty surprise to me so last year it was not a player in this list but
for this year, pretty decent market share, three point something, three point something, yeah. And uh, Safari, uh, Apple's browser, growing so fast, eighteen point something. Last year still single digit, you know, not very high, but this year growing so fast, 18 points. Yeah. Oprah double from the last year. Last year one point something. So this year two point two points in percentage. Yeah. So this Oprah, so this one. My favorite. <laughs> I like this a lot. Yeah. Because it has some special feature. I need it. Yeah. So I use it as a as my backup browser. Although most of the time I still use the Chrome, but sometimes I use this Opera. Yeah. All right. So here so you can see uh, both from hardware software about the Client. Yeah. At this point, when you look at the market shares, you may wonder how people get the statistics like this one. Yeah. Here, actually, uh, it can be done easily. Right? It can be done easily. Yeah. So we can do this in our project. So in our project, we can do this feature. Here, headcounts feature. It's a simple feature, right? Headcounts feature. Yeah. Yeah. So we can, uh, two possibilities. One possibility, I can give you a simple example, you know, doing the headcounts. Yeah. Another possibility, when you assign you a programming project, I added this feature. This is just a one of the features you need to do in the project. Yeah. So you can see, yeah. After you get experience doing things like this, then you can understand, you know, this market share statistics, you know, very easy. So very easy. People can do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So next. Let us look at the web servers from the server side. Yeah. So let's get some basic understanding. Yeah. First, the web servers, the hardware. Yeah. So we know servers are computers designed to wait for any requests. Here, the main usage of the server, wait for any requests from the client side, yeah, from users or other computers, so that refer to the client machines, okay, yeah, and then act on that request. What do you mean act on that request, right? Yeah. Data processing, yeah, server side, in order to provide the requested business services, yeah. some business data processing may be necessary. Yeah. So then return result usually follow some business rules. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's the, you know, general ex uh, description of the server, server's role in internet yeah this is example picture for the modern servers yeah here you can see so it's a typical data center so large number of servers you know packet you know in a big house you know you warehouse you know you can see a large number of servers organized there yeah so usually the full of data center, so people do things like this. Yeah. So you may wonder how many servers in a typical 
data center. Yeah. So there are many large data centers in the world. Some, some of them extremely big, some relatively small. Yeah. I just, you know, for curiosity, I search, you know, research a little bit. I want to see the, you know, average, average server farm. So people also call server farm. How many servers are there? Yeah. I got the, you know, approximate number, uh, 50,000. For the average number of servers, 50,000. There. Okay, yeah. It is a little slow <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Next. Another one for a comparison reason. Here I put the first web server. This is the very first web server. It's, it was a historical event. So there is a British scientist called Tim Berners-Lee. Yeah. Tim Berners-Lee. Oh, so slow. Lee. Yeah. That that is the inventor. Yeah. He had a background of both engineering and computer science. He invented the web, continue web server, yeah, web, te web, this technology, you, you have to put the web server there, he used the, the server, it, it is a Apple computer, old Apple computer called the Next Machine, Next Machine, yeah, and you can see a paper slip, a little paper slip with red sentences on it, so that's very special. Yeah, so I show you this picture. So what is the sentence on it? So let me, you know, it's hard to read a sentence from this picture, but let me give you the sentence. Uh, it says, this is a server machine. Approximately, I may mean, not be exactly. So first, first sentence, this is a server machine. Do not power it down. Double exclamations. The second part is most important. Do not power it down. Double exclamations. The reason is simple because at that time, uh, 1990, that early, in 1990, this time, okay, it was invented. 1990. At that time, if he did not put this little slip people may if other people see saw this machine keep running but nobody is there right so it is very likely people will power it down power off okay power off yeah then nobody can connect to the server anymore right so for that reason he put this paper slip there yeah all right services people can do yeah what kind of applications email the first one file sharing website hosting right yeah and a database yeah here are just some important examples yeah then for the software servers yeah web server software yeah to to use a computer as a web server you need to install web server software. For this class, we will do that. For this class, we will make our PC or your Mac, you know, your computer, personal computer, we will make it a simple web server. After we install a web server software, we will get that. So we can do the business related to you know web server yeah all right application server software yeah. from the previous video i talked about the application server right yeah when you need to do 
sophisticated business, you know, heavyweight, right? That kind of thing. You need to install another type of special software, application server software. Although I can give you some examples later at some time. So when we get to the same topic, uh, I may give you a little more details related to application software. Yeah. Database server software. Yeah. So for this class, we will use MySQL database server software. Yeah. MySQL, MySQL for this class. This is a powerful and it is free. Yeah. So we use this one. Yeah. And then file server software. Yeah. All right. Next, uh, let us take a look at the web server market share. Yeah. Here, I need to update from the last year. Yeah. The first one, Apache HTTP web server. Yeah. Its market share is 31%. Yeah. This is its logo. Apache HTTP server. It's free, it's powerful, it is very popular, but it's market share going down a little bit from last year. Last year it was 37%. Pretty significant in the market, the, the first place. But this year it becomes the second place. Yeah. So now it is second place. Alright, yeah. The first place is this one, Nginx. You may not, you may not hear from it, yeah. But it is currently the first place in the market share, thirty-four percent. Yeah, the reason is simple. So why uh, Nginx, this web server, keeps growing, and Apache HTTP web server keeps going down? slightly yeah the reason is simple yeah because in the web server market those companies they need to do the business right yeah. in order to do business the functionalities in the web servers very important yeah for the http apache web server only the basic functionalities are provided but this is a commercial web server, Nginx. Commercial. Okay, yeah. So it's a commercial product. Yeah. So this one, yeah, not like this is the open source. The commercial product, they have a lot of advanced functionalities. Yeah. That advanced those are advanced features missing in Apache HTTP server. So for that reason, for many companies, when their business grow bigger and bigger, they need more and more advanced features. So for that reason, some of them switch to Nginx web server from, you know, Apache. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the reason you can see the market share trend changing trend yeah all right so several other important players <coughs> here the third one 19.6 percent <clears throat> cloudflare server that's pretty big <coughs> almost 20 percent yeah microsoft iis info internet information server so that's for the microsoft technology web technology yeah asp.net that kind of technology yeah yeah the logo hit like this market share going down a little bit yeah last year eight point something so this year 6.6 .6 something so going down a little bit yeah but it is still important player in the market you know live speed 10.9 percent pretty big 10.9 double digit <laughs> the next one google server 
only 1.1 percent. Yeah, Google. So they have their own web servers. Yeah, but the, the market share only 1.1 percent. Yeah. Node.js. So in recent years, Node.js technology becomes more and more important. Yeah. Its market share also growing in recent years. So it is improved from the last year, but still relatively small, 1.4%. Yeah. All right. The last one I want to talk about, Tomcat. That's the one we will use for this class. Okay. So, yeah, we, we use it this semester. Now, we use it this semester, Tomcat, but its market share only 0.1%. Why is that? Tomcat is so important. Why the market share is so small? The reason is very simple. Yeah, let me tell you the reason is very simple. The reason is this market share, when people talk about market share, people mean the production server. People use it as a production server. Okay? Yeah. But most of the time when people use Tomcat, people use it as a development server. Development server, not for production. For development, so probably 90% of the developers using use Tomcat for development. Probably 90% that high. Okay. But for production, because there are more, many more better, powerful Java web servers there. Yeah. So that's why Tomcat is really used as a production server. Yeah. So do not treat, you know, if you see the market share only 0.1%, so do not treat, you know, Tomcat is not important. It may not be a big player in production server, but it is extremely important for Java web developers. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is the Tomcat logo. Yeah. You see Apache Tomcat. Do not get confused. Tomcat and Apache the same thing. They are different. Apache, when we talk about Apache server, we mean Apache HTTP server. When we talk about Tomcat, it's Tomcat Java server. Yeah. But the reason you see this Apache, because Tomcat is a project under the big umbrella of Apache software foundation open source software foundation so that's reason you see the apache name there yeah all right in our courses these two courses we use apache 3010 4610 we use apache web server in these two courses we use tomcat yeah. 4010 this one and 4012 Another one after this one, Tomcat. Yeah. All right. So the last video. So let me just compare Apache and a Tomcat a little bit. Yeah. So do not get confused. They are different servers. First, let me just introduce this Apache Software Foundation. So it, it is an open software foundation. Big community very big community. So there are a large number of projects developed under that umbrella. Yeah. So you can see here just, you know, some of the important projects under Apache umbrella. Yeah. So then for the properties of the server, so let's look at Apache HTTP server. Yeah. First, it's an open source free web server. Yeah. Then the year it was developed, very early 1995. Yeah. So then became popular 1996, 
because at that time, not many choices for the web server. Yeah. So definitely Apache was the most important one at that time. Yeah. Probably fast, reliable, and secure. Yeah. And it is written in C. Originally in C, but you know, newer version, you know, C++ yeah, together, C, C++. It does not support Java directly, yeah, directly, yeah. But indirectly, there is some way to connect it to Java, yeah, indirectly. But not many people do in that way, yeah. Not many people do do that do in that way, yeah. All right, Tomcat web server. First, it is also open source project under Apache, so that's why you see the name. Apache Tomcat. Okay, yeah. Don't get confused. It's not the same server as the Apache server. Yeah. It is a pure Java web server. Completely written, the code written in Java. Okay, yeah. It started off in November 1998. Also pretty early. Yeah. Yeah, at that time very early yeah uh, more than two, 20 years ago yeah but at the beginning it was used as a server reference implementation from this name you can see it was used as the demo of the server technology yeah server reference implementation server yeah so we will learn the server technology in this class as our foundation part it is a very old technology but that is the foundation of all the java web technology so we have to start with it yeah but at that time 1998 after the server technology was created as a document first as a specification server technology specification Okay, yeah, there is, there was no proof of it. So people need to create a demo, you know, showing the community this technology really work it. Yeah, so that's the reason Tomcat was created at that time. Then after several versions, later at about Tomcat version 4, it became good enough and it, it could be used as production server. After version 4, it became production server. All right, so that's the information for this video, B.2.